Anyway, that's it for me. I will do another one of these videos probably next year if I am still doing YouTube. <laughs> well, it's it's been a year and I'm I'm still here doing this. It's the holidays and the end of the year. And like last year, I've decided to make the terrible mistake of looking over my purchases over the last year. Now for 2021, my total spent was $1,396. And the year before that was $907. I will say that since becoming a Tokutuber, the urge to buy more for content has become a little bit more tempting. And as a disclaimer for some folks who always look at my background and get a little intimidated, I did not build this collection overnight. I've been collecting Toku stuff since about 2008. My first import was actually this DX Kivat from the then airing show Kamen Rider Kiva. At the time, I was definitely obsessed with Kiva and also doing the Atoya dance, so much so that there might be a video out there of me doing it back in 2008. The big thing is the e-commerce between then and now has dramatically become so different and it's so much more easier to be able to import stuff from these shows now than it was back then. So obviously, as it's become easier, the urge to buy more just becomes more tempting. And look, I make a decent living in my day job. So even then, it's not like I have so much money to burn, unlike some folks out there. So please, spend responsibly. Now hold up while I go murder my wallet. Now last year, I broke things down by timeline, and ain't nobody got time for that, so I just decided to pull things together into categories. And to save myself the annoyances of decimals, I'm rounding to the nearest dollar. Also, this does not take into account the copious amount of water purchased for my meanwhile Sononi bit. We're gonna start things off with the category of gimmicks. First up is our Vice Amps purchased from Revice over the last year. In which case, not a lot, because I purchased the majority of them last year. So what did we get this year? Mantis, Holy Wing, Rolling, and Gifford Rex. All for a total of $177. Next up, we're going back to 01 with Progrise Keys. In which case, I only really bought one set, which was... The Zaya Progress Keys for $35. Now going a couple years before that, since last year I purchased the Build Driver, I obviously had to get some shit for that. So, I got the Bat Engine Bottles, Rabbit Tank Full Bottle, and Hazard Trigger. All totaling at $104. Let's go back further, getting the Grape Lock Seed from Gaim. Man, fuck Michi. And the Magnet State's phone from Forze. One being 60 and the other being $64. Let's add in the most recent series, Geats. And what gimmicks I've gotten from that. In which case, I got the Ninja Buckle for $65 at a convention. And then three days ago, I ordered the Command Twin Buckle for $65. Since I had a gift card. That brings the gimmicks total to... 570! What? Really? Alright, this one shouldn't be so bad because it's physical media. This is the category of comics and videos I might have picked up this year, which honestly wasn't a whole lot. First up is the Common Writer 01 official Blu-ray for $52. The complete series of Ultraman and Ultra 7 for $10 each, meaning $20. And finally, the Superior 8 Ultra Brothers for $9? It should have been 8 just to whatever. 
For manga, though I really wanted the Kuga manga, I did not get a chance to snag that up yet. So as of right now, I've only gotten the Kamen Rider Ichigo manga that was released back in January for $25. That makes the total for physical media $106. Decent. Now let's look at the next category of statues and figures. This one shouldn't be so bad. This year, I really got into the Banpresto Hero statues, of which I picked up Zero One, Ichigo, Agito, and Skyrider. What's the damage? One hundred and seven dollars. Hey, that's just a dollar more than the physical media. For Plamo, I only really got the Figure Rise Fives for the purpose of comparing it to the older MG Figure Rise line, but I still bought it for a total of thirty-five dollars. Of course, those of you that have been with me since the Revice reviews, you would know that I had a thing for Aguilera during that season, in which compelled me to buy this Mimi Jerry statue for $65. Yo Bandai, what? Why are you holding out on making a Sinoni and Sumiri Mimi Sherry? What's up with that? Lastly, my kidney for a Love Cuff plush! which the tiny ones would not suffice. I needed something a little bigger, but not fail a mortgage payment bigger. So I got the Love Cove PC cushion for $35. That totals up statues and figures category two. 342. That's not so bad. Finally, the major categories. This would be for all the bigger purchases. So let's start off with DX belt extension for Common Rider belts for $26. Hey look, I've got a 34 inch waist, I got tired of using velcro scripts just to keep those belts on. Next up we've got two biggins from Power Rangers, with the Lore Z helmet for $120, and the Power Sword for $200. Oh, I see where this is going. Next up is the Don Oni Taijin, my first Sentai Power Rangers related mecha in a long time, costing me $118. Now let's look at the henshin items purchased this time around, which honestly isn't that much because all the pre-orders that I placed haven't been fulfilled yet. First up is the DX Demons Driver for $175. Next up is the DX Kingstone for $72. And I... And I wish someone had told me that this came with the extension, because it would have saved me 26 bucks. The DX Desire Driver is up next with just a solid $100. And finally, the CSM Ultra Ring for $255. Alright, so before totaling everything, I wanted to see how y'all's Toku spending habits have gone for 2022. So let's go ahead and take a quick look to see who wins the honorary John Toei's bank account donor crown. All right, so first up we got Sharky Logan. Let's see what you got. Okay, so despite me being a Toku fan for about six years, roughly, this is the first year where I actually ever bought any piece of to Toku merchandise at all. Nice. Uh, this year for my birthday, I got the Bug Visor and Dangerous Zombie Gashots, which are just my favorite things ever. Um, Real nice. I also got two Dawn Blasters for the price of one, because, you know, oh! Power Brothers is just paid, Shit! man. Like, I'm gonna miss it. And I got all these extra gears and stuff for free. Which it's real nice. Fantastic. And I'm keeping the boxes, of course, because they look sick. But, yeah, that's what I got this year. And just, here's to many more. Nice. Two Dom Blasters for the price of one. You know what? I didn't even want a single one. But if I could get a deal like that, amazing. Amazing. Next up, we got Vertical Cam from Mersley. So I started collecting uh, figure arts this year among lightning collection weapons. Why are you keeping that secret? Ooh! Boy! Good God, what have I done? Damn. I have a wizard on pre-order, geese on pre-order. Those, those figure My arts. Fucking money. Those figure arts just ain't cheap. Th those ain't cheap, and I already know that sword's fucking two hundred bucks. So, damn, damn, that's that's some money spent right there. That's buku dinero. 
Next up, let's check out Prosperity Fries. So for Tokyo Depth 2022, I have this second-hand uh, saber set. It goes all for like about like 30 US dollars, 40 US dollars. Woo! Yeah, man, it's pretty good. Real um, good. A lot of it is SG. Don't fuck so, with saber, but yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. And then I got this second-hand Sengoku driver, which only has Baron, because I love Baron. And the rest are just SGs, because I'm a broke bitch. <laughs> Uh, and this Legends Transformations belt, Kabuto, not my proudest purchase. I, I, would, I, I would not buy that. <sighs> you can hear the anyway, disappointment. Yeah, then this is the killer of my debt. Um, the main reason for my debt, all these Geats. Yep, that would do it. I have that would definitely problem. do it. But yeah, that's my token debt. Um, yeah, keep up the good work, Zio. Um, yep, love your shit. Alright, bye. Neat stuff. That's that's money right there. That's that's a cool like couple hundred bucks. Next up, we got Shade Legacy. Hello guys, my name is Shade Legacy, and welcome to 2022 Toku Debit. So Debit? my first item is the Neil Decay Driver and nice. the K Touch 21. I got these um when they started to release, like when the pre-orders for the US version, but it took a year to get here. So you know. How it, you know how it is with Toku Collectibles. Yep. So this cost me about like 130 for the US version and didn't come to this year. So that's number item one. I have right here the Gear to Linger along with... This man skipped uh, school for like two days straight waiting for this package here, to arrive. And as well, this run me about like, I'm buy at least like $20, almost 30 with, with shipping. So those are those items. I got the Sentai Gears currently right here, and they run me about like another $16. Very festive, looking kind of Christmassy. You know how it is. I got the x aid and Gem Figure Rise, and th you know, these both run me about 40 each, so this is about yeah. 80 And you know, one last thing I have here is the DX Orb Ring. I don't care. With six Soldier of Man. the cards yeah. and two extras. Uh, that run me about ninety dollars. So that's um my Toku debit. It run me about debit. at least like three something, probably even debit. more. Debit. I can't uh, get over it. Thank you, Zio, for having me on. Uh, goodbye, guys. Cards still in the plastic though. Oh well. Open them bitches up. Play some spades with that bitch. All right. Next up, we got Throttle, the biggest neon simp. I have yet to uh, meet somebody that has out simped this simp. It's me, Throttle. And yeah, here it is. One of my very own Deluxe Fies Red Watch. I owned like, uh, I don't know. That's like years and like years ago. 30 bucks. 18. It just about to cost like 83 bucks or something. Yeah, I only got owned this one. Here, check this out. This man, this man found a way to make she got some white sounds did he did he actually speaker, code, find a way to make uh, yeah. a minute long video the driver code system for still good for one you item see it right here got some god damn it throttle take it uh, you can scan it if you wanted to and yeah this man gave me the whole specifics the whole rundown still on a toy i already have that's the only deluxe toys i've had so far throughout the year Man. And that's it. Okay. All right. That's Moving the only on. toy I have. Oh, he's still going. Okay, great. Moving on. Let's go on with Zygarde Lagan. All right, so Z uh, Zygarde here. We're going to show off the shit that I got this year. So first off, uh, Gear to Linger, 85 bucks from Amazon. Neat. Um, We got two mini plus. We got the Zenkai Juo, and we got uh, Zenkai Ju uh Durangao, fuck it. Uh, that was fifty dollars each. So there's that. We also got Fies and Kuga. God damn. And the uh, figure rise. They were probably were both around forty five each. Also went out to Botcon. Let's shut out the way. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Saban's Master Rider, and we got the. I hope there's a pillow on the other DVD side. Changer from Time Force. For twenty dollars and ten dollars respectively. Bass Rider got them hurt their buys. We got some ride watches this year too. Obviously I got the decade and saber set, but I already threw my saber ride watch because saber shit. 
And then we got the quarter I'd watch set. Saber and Decade was 25 and then these were 35 on Amazon. So yeah. Uh that's what I bought. So yeah. Nice. Back to you, Z, or whoever's ever fucking next. I don't care. All right, all right. You heard the man. Let's see what's up next. Next up is Sure Gene or Ultraman Orb 2016 on Instagram. Too much time. Let's go. Oh, I got a revive statue a couple months ago. I got Vice just yesterday. Little Geo thing. I got this Ginga Legend Heroes thing in Vancouver. A lot of it are things. But definitely the highlight. I can't snap. The <laughs> Ultra Replica. Orb ring. I've had tons of fun with this, as well as the He's got the whole package. He's out here, like, showing up, Shade. There's a hefty lot of them. Damn. Shade, you jealous yet? The dark ring and the other ultra replica orb stuff, because I'm dedicated now. Thanks, Zio Akito, for this opportunity to be in your video and keep up the good work. Thank you. All right, moving on to the next person. Next up, we got TNX Railways. Let's oh, yeah. see what you got. This is looking about what I spent this year. Um, obviously, this is some of the obvious stuff. We got the um, Geet stuff there. It's a lot of Geet stuff. Mixed in with the stuff, and then we got Gun down there. We and we we got we got a lot of Geet shit. We got a load of stuff for the belts in the box down there. More Don Brothers stuff there, the Megazord, and then of course, even though it's come out. Uh, started last into last year into this year. We got revised stuff. I see the premium Bandai in the later so releases. So much revised shit. Got and like all again. the drivers. Some of this already came out, but there's some of the stuff is from this year. God damn! Well. Or is that the CSM line? Zero one. I've also got some other stuff on order, which are counting this this year, but might not come till next year because delivery. I'm in the same boat. Same boat, my guy. Year. I quite enjoy down there my Mega Drive. Mega Mega Drive. Set the modem at the back as well. Gotta keep the classics with that one. Ooh, Mega Drive. Turn up. Next up is a Nerd Day Mark. Hey everyone. Wait. Nerd Day Mark here. I saw I this. Go over I saw this shit. The year is. Bruh. This is 18 over. minutes. And Did you I send me your whole fucking YouTube video? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> shit. Some of my favorite merch of the year. Uh, that's that's masterful trolling. That's that masterful troll. I don't know if that was intended or not. Maybe but older that didn't I asked for like I I gave him an exception to do like merch. Like four minutes. This man gave me an eighteen minute long video. He posted up on YouTube like four hours ago. He wins. He wins the crown. Freeze frame that. Put the put the John Toy. Put 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 the John Toy crown on him. That's it. That's it. That He's done. He's done. In just he won. He won. I picked up and won. Amazing. Amazing. Now, the moment of truth to see if I have indeed outspent last year or have done pretty all right. All right, let's see. 107, 72, 64, 55. 65. 30, wait, I, I put totals together. Where did I get $26 from? Oh yeah, the belt extension. And that brings our grand total to $2,084. Boy. So, last year I did a favorite purchase, so I'll be doing that again. But, I also want to go through my least favorite purchase of the year. So, first up, what's 2022's buyer's remorse for me? The Legacy Collection Power Sword! Seriously, why is this shit so expensive? It really needed to be to like $80. Plus, it only lights up on one side, not even the other side. Even the fucking Dragon Dagger lit up on both sides. Favorite purchase, however? The CSM Altering! Seriously, this glorified flashlight has been on my want list since I was a teenager, along with the Kabuto and 5 CSMs. One day. One day. So, how is your 2022 Toku spending? Since this is dropping on Christmas, did you get any cool Toku stuff for Christmas? I've got a laundry list of things pre-ordered that don't release until next year, like that Juga driver. So, those will be for next year's video, if I'm still doing YouTube. Nudge nudge, wink wink, future me, we'll see. Anyway, 
That's it for me. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and here's to a better 2023. Bye.